Yo, what's up guys and welcome to another Wizard 101 video. And so I know I haven't posted in a while, sorry about that. Um, I, I think it's been like three weeks, like close to a month almost, where I haven't posted anything at all. And so, well, here you go, here's a video. You can watch it if you want to. And so this video is on Wizard 101 shortcuts. So I it probably sounds like a stupid idea to make a video on but a lot of people don't actually know the shortcuts to this game so what i'm gonna be going off of is this it's on the wizard 101 site and it's just basically all the freaking keyboard shortcuts so i'll just be going down the list and i'll just put somewhere on the screen like what which one i'm on so yeah okay going in alphabetical order a, move left, that's pretty simple. B, backpack, that's pretty simple also. C, open your character uh, screen. You can look at all those. D, move right, pretty simple also. F, open the friends panel. You press F again, and it opens up the uh, extended version or something. It shows a little bit more about your friends. Sorry, I have no friends in this game, so <laughs> I have to go to all friends. So yeah, it shows it like that in the minimize screen, and then it looks like that. But yeah, that's pretty simple. G, gardening panel. So this one, it actually only works in your house because yes, you cannot garden everywhere. So yeah, you just press G and you open up the gardening tab. And you can also press it down here if you wanted to. Wait, that's weird. It doesn't show it because I, I can't garden. <laughs> okay, but yeah, G, garden. And then H, this one's pretty fitting too, because we're in the house. H, open the housing. You, ch you can open it down there too, but yeah, H is for housing. And then something cool with the housing stuff, E is to pick it up instead of just clicking it there, and K is to move it around. So you can press E, K, pick things up, or move them around with K really easily like that. And then... If you wanted to rotate something really easily, you can press the left and right arrows, not the arrow keys. So if you look at your keyboard, the keys to the right of M, those two, which is the comma and period. So the left one is the comma, which is the left arrow, which is basically this one, rotate clockwise. And then the period one or the right arrow is rotate counterclockwise which is pretty cool so you don't have to click these you can just use your keys move it around E to pick it up so yeah these are pretty cool next one i open up your pet page you can go through all this pretty simple next one is j crafting i think not that many people know j is for crafting or i is for pets too not that many people know that so if you want to get to your pet page instead of going to your backpack then pressing there you can just press i quickly and same for uh the same applies for crafting you can just press j instead okay so the next one l applies to pvp you freaking press it and it brings up the pvp status of your match and that one's not really that useful but yeah l Okay, so the next one is pretty simple also. M, you just open up the map. You can zoom in and out and you can go to caravan, go to home. Pretty simple. And so also going off of the map thing, shift M opens the world map. So this is just like to the area place that you're in map just by pressing M. And shift M opens the, the world map. So you can just use that. You can just use the little zoom in the bottom left instead if you don't want to do shift M. So yeah, the next one is N and basically it brings up the little compass uh, navigation bubbles. That's what it's called. So instead of clicking there, you can just press N to bring that up. So if you accidentally press N, that's why those pop up. O, O is pretty simple too. It just opens up the chat box and yeah you don't really you can just press enter to type into it you don't have to bring up 
you don't have to open it by pressing O. Well, if you don't want to type, then you just bring it up by pressing O. So, yeah. Next one, P. You just open up your deck, if you didn't know that. So you don't have to keep on opening your backpack, going to deck. I mean, it even shows it on the side of here. So, yeah. These are all really simple. And then Q. Q is pretty simple, too. It just opens up your quest book. These are all really simple. R. R is to reply in chat. So, if somebody, like text messages you like privately you can just press r to quickly respond back to them so to make this one a little bit better to understand i'm just gonna go on to my other account and say hi to myself there you go now you press r there you go you can say hi back and it automatically does that so that's what r is for next one pretty simple s <laughs> you go backwards okay moving on uh you U is to open your housing inventory. So instead of going to backpack, clicking there, you can just press U, which is actually pretty good. Next one, W, you move forwards, please. These are pretty easy. Moving on. Next one is X. You press X to interact. You can also mouse click on some stuff to interact with it, like picking up reagents you can do, I think. And so, yeah, those are pretty easy. Now, some that are not on this list, because this is probably pretty old when the game came out. So first off, V is for fishing. So you can just press V to quickly bring up your fish basket. Next one is Y, which brings up your jewels. So instead of going to your backpack, clicking all the way like five times, all the way to get to your jewels, you can just quickly press Y to get to them. The next one is T, Monstrology Tome. I don't think anyone does this. Maybe like, I don't know if you do this. Uh, I don't know if you use this, if you use this feature, I think something's wrong with you and you should, uh, I'm just kidding. I, I don't, I don't even know what Monstrology is about. So, but yeah, if you wanted to open that quickly, you just press T. Okay, so the Photomancy stuff is next. Z, you can just go into the Photomancy mode, take a picture. Cool. And control Z actually goes to the Photomancy tab. Or you can look at all your pictures. So yeah. Okay, so moving on to like the next set of them. The arrow keys. Forward, left, right, back. Those are all pretty good and easy. So the next one is number lock, which is auto run. But there's way better easy easier way to auto run hold w press shift let go and it does it for you and you can do it for that and that's how people afk they just uh press a and shift or d and shift and they just leave it I'm not pressing my keyboard and they just leave it and they won't get kicked so yeah also for the auto run you can do w and control if you don't want to do w and shift your preference i don't really care they do the exact same thing and you can also do control r to auto run the next one is escape brings up the options all the video sound options gameplay options realms credits everything is there next one enter that's pretty easy it just brings up the the chat <laughs> chat the next one space jump <laughs> these are so easy I, I shouldn't even say some of them but i'm just going through all of them okay the next few ones are kind of cool so basically above your arrow keys there's six buttons and so the top middle one is home. You click that, you go to your home. It, it makes sense, right? And so now for the next one, I have to wait for this. So I'll be back after that. All right. So now that the timer ran out, let me show you the next one, which is just below home, which is the bottom middle key of that six key little thing above the arrow keys, which is end. And so if you press it, you go to the common area in the world which is the commons for wizard city which is actually a pretty cool feature if you well you can you can just click them all down here but yeah i think it's pretty cool for a shortcut 
If you don't feel like moving your mouse all the way down there. If you're lazy like some people. Going off of those last two, which is page down and page up, which are to the right of home and end. So page down sets your marker. So yeah, all these four buttons are controlled by home end, page down and page up. And so page up, you just go back to your marker. Pretty cool. But if you're lazy and you don't want to press those, you can just do that. And so now to actually take a screenshot, you can press F12 or you can press print screen, which is right next to F12, just to the right of it. So another cool one is alt and enter and it exits full screen like that. So if you want to exit full screen really fast, you can click that instead alt and enter. So now these aren't really on this keyboard shortcuts list, but the mouse controls are really easy. You left click, drag it moves the camera around and then right click and drag turns your player and the camera instead of just the camera and then holding them both down you auto run and if you just move the mouse around you can also move it like that scroll in and out you move the camera closer farther away from your character and then a little cool feature i know kaiser noah put this in one of his uh photo videos or something how to take cool screenshots you zoom in all the way to your character you walk backwards and you can hold, either hold left click or right click and then well i did it wrong there you can hold left click or right click and then you can move around in first person which is pretty cool if i right click it does the same exact thing all right so now we're getting into the more advanced shortcuts so the first one on the list control g it turns off your ui or as they say, it turns off and on screen icons. So yeah, if you want to take really cool screenshots like this, instead of using Photomancy, you can do that too by turning off the UI. Next one is swap card decks when not in a duel, which is control K. And so if I look at my deck right here, let me make it easier and go to this one so now if i press Control k it'll equip the next one down do it again and again and it keeps going in the cycle which is pretty cool but i don't really see myself using this because it's just probably easier to just go into your backpack and click on the exact one that you want or actually like go through them in this page and click the one you want there the next one is Control m which brings up the realms list, which is pretty cool. But it doesn't really take that long to get to the realms by pressing escape and then here. So, and it's pretty hard to press control and end, end M at the same time. So, yeah, you can use that one if you want to, but you don't have to. The next one is control O and it uses a potion just like that. It. This one, not that useful as well, since you can just click one time to use it. But yeah, that's a shortcut. The next one, Control S, it actually brings up the crown shop. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's not really much of use to these as well, since you can just click one time to get to the shop. So the next one is Control T, which turns on and off the quest helper down here at the bottom which is pretty cool to find this it's just uh gameplay options one all the way at the bottom quest helper you can turn it off and on there too so yeah this one's actually pretty useful so now one that isn't on this list as well from wizard 101 is control v which completely mutes the game of the sound which you can see right here I'm pressing control V to turn on and off. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Now the next one you have to be in combat to use and it's control I and it completely takes off the, the 2D combat, which is right here, right there in the bottom. And so yeah, 
you can do that too to find it on the settings it's just right here which is pretty cool if you don't want to see the 2d combat for some reason but you won't be able to see the health <laughs> so yeah and a fairly new one that they just added which is the social friendly player tab right here you can just press Control a to actually open it which is pretty cool and another one is Control e and it brings up the current event that's going on so right now it's the decathlon and so yeah Control e brings it up pretty fast instead of clicking there there and then you can teleport to the event so yeah okay so now the next ones are actually pretty decent control shift and n uh toggles on and off all the name tags so control shift n turns on and off the names so as you look around look at all these people turns on and off the names pretty cool and to actually mess with that setting you can do it here all players everyone or uh, excuse me all others everyone none players non-players yeah so the next one is also pretty cool control shift and q makes your quest go to the nearest one available so yeah maybe made it go to that one and if i stand all the way over here closer to this guy and do it again excuse me okay so this one is actually kind of buggy so it's locked onto that quest right but if i control shift and q again it doesn't change but if i go here and actually click it 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 changes so it's kind of broken but yeah i mean you're never going to use that one so you don't really need to know you just click here to actually use that feature so yeah so now the last few bit of shortcuts that i'm going to go over are actually the equipment shortcuts which is control one through nine if you ever get up to nine so now these are pretty easy it actually tells you which one corresponds to which so control one equips that one control two second one control three third one and so now you can actually change the order of them by going to here you can make it go up you have to click on it again and then make it go up so now that one's actually control one instead of control three and you can just remove the sets here and if you want to add a new set well i already have a set on if i change something of my gear i just add a another one right here so yeah Equipment Sense, one of the pretty cool features about this game. You can quickly change your gear without having to change it all. I don't know. More people should know about this. So yeah, there you go. You now know. <laughs> so now a couple of more shortcuts is actually by pressing control and the arrow keys and space to click, which is kind of cool if you don't have a mouse and you're playing this game you can actually play the game without um using a mouse there you go i just equipped something yeah but it's hard to recommend using this way to play for someone and you can also do this while in combat but and you wouldn't be holding control you would just use the arrow keys and space which it, i can actually show you right now yeah, so here we go. I can move around with the arrow keys. I can click with space. And yeah, for some reason, it doesn't want to put it on myself. But yeah, that's just in case you wanted to use that. So now that's basically all the shortcuts in the game. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe. I just reached 200 subscribers, which is amazing. Never thought I would get past 10. <laughs> so, yeah, if you enjoy this, you know, do the thing. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.